Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Today we are going to see how to generate mapping sheet in just one click. So for that let's create a mapping. So I am going to straight away create a message mapping artifact. Now I already have prepared the schema and sample XML for that. So basically we are going to write some simple transformation rules and generate the mapping sheet for that. So here first I am going to add the source message structure. That will be order schema. The target message schema would be the same. Now mostly this will be one is to one mapping that you can do just clicking on this icon where it says map selected field and subtree with identical name. So as I have selected the root node so it will map every node below the root node along with the root node so here first we are going to apply some transformation rule for example i want the order id to be of 10 digit so for that i am going to use format number Okay. Same rule I am going to apply for customer ID also. So here I am also saying like customer ID should be 10 digits. But for the product I want to remove the leading zeros. So for that again I am going to use the format number. So this will remove if there is any leading zeros in the input. And then I am going to save this. Also, let's uh, change the date format. So I'm going to use the date trans. So here in the input, I'm receiving the date in this format and the output format I, I need it to be first month then date then year uh, let's simulate this first so i have uploaded the sample external payload and i'm going to you simulate button here as you can see we have some dummy data for example order id is of five digit so as per the transformation rule it should be converted to 10 digit so it will just add some leading zeros same for customer ids so for product i am just manipulating data for example i am adding some leading zeros in the beginning same for this also and the date format 
is uh, first input date format is year then month then date so let's test this here we have received the result now and you can see for order id and customer id zeros are added in the beginning to make it 10 digit and from the product id the leading zeros are removed but in the order date let's check the format once more okay i think the date format was not saved so mm td let's save this first why now and let's simulate this again so we are getting month and the beginning then date then year so it's working as expected now the main motto of this um, video is to show how to generate a mapping sheet in just one click so as you can see there is an option to export message mapping to excel so if you directly click on that and then after that so here you can see we have received uh, a mapping sheet in excel format where we have the target and target field names and the mapping rules that has been applied over the source field for example in our order id we have applied the format number and to make it uh, 10 digits same for customer id for product we just used uh, this hash in number format uh, to remove the leading zeros similarly for transform date we have provided input uh, date format as this one and output it for man as this one so next let's see um, how we can reuse this mapping artifact in an iflow uh, and i'm going to use this message mapping in the order transfer iflow so this is the empty iflow so i'll just add the message mapping step here first message mapping and here I can use the assigned message the first I have to add the reference so for that I go to references and go to global and click on add references and message mapping now here I can see I have uh, the mapping that I have just created mapping for orders I can add that message mapping here now after that you can I can directly use just clicking on the assign option and selecting the mapping from the global resources now you can see we have established the linkage in in this iflow for to that message mapping Yeah, so in this way we can create a message mapping artifact and reuse it in multiple iFlows. That's all for the video. Thank you.